Hello and welcome. Today we'll be discussing risk and volatility, what they are, and how they differ from one another. Risk is the potential of an investment to result in permanent loss of capital. It is reflective of the actual fundamentals of a business or country in which one has an investment, and if the investment is soundly analyzed, its risk is often inversely related to the holding period of a security. Basically, the longer security is held, the less risky the investment tends to be. On the other hand, volatility refers to the tendency of an investment to fluctuate temporarily in price. Volatility is constant and ever-present, irrespective of the length of the holding period. It is important to remember that over the long term, volatility does not necessarily equate to risk. While risk and volatility are two distinct concepts, there is a tendency in the financial world to use them interchangeably. This tendency to lump risk and volatility together owes to the market's obsession with both financial models and short-term fad investing. While risk is virtually impossible to measure, volatility is easily measurable through a simple standard deviation calculation, making an attractive but ineffective substitute for risk in financial models. Basically, the people who generate these financial models have acknowledged, hey, we can't effectively model risk, we know that, but volatility is somewhat related to risk and is easy to calculate, so we will just calculate that and present it as a calculation of risk. The problem with this is that investments can be volatile without being risky. Consider the example of two investors, Mark and Julian. Mark is a value investor. He is considering investing in a company called Tools and Stuff. He has conducted a valuation of the company and has found that it is significantly undervalued. Mark is confident that while Tools and Stuff is priced at $10 per share, the true value of the company per share is approximately $25. Julian is also considering investing in Tools and Stuff. However, Julian relies on a volatility-based financial model to determine the so-called risk of an investment opportunity before buying it. Recent fluctuations in Tools and Stuff share price, owing to volatility, have led Julian's model to classify Tools and Stuff as a risky investment opportunity. With all of this in mind, let's see how things turn out for Mark and Julian. Mark is confident in his valuation of the company and understands that high volatility does not necessarily equate to high risk. As a result, he purchases one share of Tools and Stuff for $10. In spite of short-term fluctuations, the share price eventually reaches its true intrinsic value of $25. Mark has just made a profit of 250% because he understands the difference between risk and volatility. Meanwhile, Julian has failed to distinguish between risk and volatility, and as a result, has decided not to invest in tools and stuff, squandering an opportunity for profit. The second factor that leads risk and volatility to be lumped together is the market's obsession with short-term fad investing. In the short term, there is less distinction between volatility and risk. This is because volatility can cause permanent capital loss wherever it forces investors into a situation under which they are forced to sell an investment following a temporary drop in price, crystallizing losses. Generally this occurs wherever investors or clients adopt a short-term horizon for holding an investment, or where an investment is significantly leveraged. In the short term then, volatility does have a substantial effect on returns. However. The longer the holding period of an investment, the less consequential the effect of volatility. So, just because an investment is more volatile does not necessarily mean that it is more risky in the long term. In review, risk refers to a permanent loss of capital, while volatility refers to temporary fluctuations in the price of an asset. While risk is inversely related to the holding period of an investment, volatility is constant. So. For long-term holding periods, high volatility does not necessarily equate to high risk. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call or visit our website.